In this video, we are going to learn how to create smooth text reveal animation in After Effects. I will share some tips and tricks that will make your text to go from this to this. So with that being said, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, my name is Abhishek and let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects. So we will begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, new comp, and I'm going to call this text. And the width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can go with 30 FPS or 60. For this example, I'm going to use 60 FPS because it will give me more smoothness. So all the things like duration will be 10 seconds and the background color will be black. So after that, just click on OK. So now we have our composition. And our next step is to create a text. So go to text tool, just simply select it and you can click anywhere you want. Now you can type your text. So I'm going to use this Gibson semi bold font. So you are free to use whatever font you want. So I'm going to type a text. So let's type motion graphics. And now I'm going to quickly align this in the center of this composition. So if you're not able to see this align panel, you can go to windows. And from here, you can enable it just by clicking over here. So once you have aligned the text, you can make sure its anchor point is in the center. So in order to do that, you can either use a script or if you don't have a script, then you can just simply select the layer and you can hold down the control key or command key. If you are on Mac, then just double click on this icon and it will make the anchor point in the center. So now you can scale your text down. So let's scale it something like this. So now we have our text layer and our next step is to animate it. So in order to animate this, we are going to use the animation properties. So if you click over here, you can see we have a bunch of properties. And first we are going to select the position. In the same way, you can animate any of these properties as well. So let's click on position. And over here, you can see it gives us two options. So first is the range selector and the second is the position. So this position parameters define the final position of your text and the initial position. So this is going to be our final position and to in order to change the initial position, you can just simply play around with this value. You can either make it come from the left side or you can just simply make it come from the downside. So I'm going to put 300 over here because I want my text to come from bottom. So once we have set this value, we are going to go under the range selector. So from here, you can see we have this option called start and end. So basically these are the properties that you can use to animate your text. So what most people do is they simply add a keyframe over here and then just simply animate it to like this. So now if I play back, you can see we have our text animation, but it is not smooth. So we are not going to use this. So what really makes the difference is the advanced option. So if you go under here, you can see we have a bunch of different options. So we are going to play around with them. So over here, you can see we have this option called the based on. So if you don't want the individual character to go up, you can simply click over here and from here you can choose words. So if you have multiple words, so right now we only have two words and if I animate it, now you can see that it is moving the complete word in the same way. If you have multiple lines, you can go with that. But for this example, let's go with characters and over here you can see we have this option called shape. Now by default, it will be on square. And if you want to get smooth animation, you have to change it to ramp up. So if I click on that, you can see that now our text has changed a little bit. So if I animate it now, you can see that our text is animating, but it is not going down properly. Although we have our start on zero. So in order to make the animation now, we are going to use this offset property. So if I animate it using this value, so you can see that now our text is animating. So let's quickly add a keyframe. So in the beginning, I want my value to be at negative 100 and then I can move my timeline indicator to somewhere around one and a half second and then change it back to 100. So now if I play back here, you can see that we have created some text animation. It is smooth, but it is not exactly what we want. So let's play around with this more. So if you come under here, you can see we have another option called ease high. So if I increase it to 100% and now if I play back here, you can see that in the beginning, our text is starting very slowly and at the end, it just simply snaps to the final position. So this can be an interesting way to create this kind of animation if you want to go with this. But for this one, we are going to set the ease high value to zero 
and we are going to change the ease low value to 100. So if I do that, now if I play back, here you can see that now we have created much smoother animation. So this is the main idea of this animation. You have to change the ease value to 100 and make sure that your shape is to ramp up. So now you can see that our animation is much smoother as compared to earlier. So if you want to randomize the character, you can just simply enable this and now you can see that random characters will pop up. So this is completely up to you. But for this one, we are going to turn it off. And now I'm going to quickly select these keyframes and then you can press F9 on the keyboard or you can right click, go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. And after that, you can go under the graph and if your graph looks different, then you can simply click over here and then make sure that you are in the edit value graph. After that, you can select the endpoint and just tweak it something like this. So now if I play back, here you can see that we have created much smoother animation just like this. You can also play around with this value and you can just tweak it a little bit. So yeah, I think this looks much better. So now we are pretty much done with this animation. And you will notice one thing that in the beginning our text is visible. So if you want to hide this, you can do one thing. So let me just quickly select the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle. So it's completely up to you, however big you want your rectangle to be. So let me just quickly change its color to white and I'm going to change my text color to something like this color and I'm going to select my shape layer and then align it in the center of this comb just like this. And one more thing you have to place this below your text layer so that your text will be visible on top of this and still you can see that our text is visible below. So in order to fix that, we can select the layer, then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And now I'm going to place one of these layers on top of our text layer. And in order to make this text visible only in this area, we are going to use this option called track mat. So if you're not able to see these options, you can just simply click over here and it will make them appear. And after that, you can select the text layer and just simply select the alpha mat. So now you can see our text is not visible and it will be visible only where we have this shape layer so that is in this area only and now if i play back here you can see we have created some really smooth animation which is exactly what we want you can also add some animation to this text box as well so let me just quickly select it and i can press s on the keyboard for scale and then uncheck these prime parameters after that i can add a keyframe for the scale property and I'm going to set my X value to 0. I will leave the Y value at 100. And after that, I'm going to move this to at one and a half second as well. And then I can change it back to 100. So now you can see we have this sort of animation. And again, we can select the keyframes, then press F9 to easy ease them. Then you can tweak it something like this. So that we have this kind of animation, which looks good. Now remember one thing, all the animations that you apply on this layer, you have to do the same animation on this layer as well, because if you don't do that, now you can see that our text is still visible. So in order to do that, just simply select the keyframes, then you can press Ctrl C to copy them, then select this layer and press Ctrl V to paste them. So now if I play back, here you can see we have updated our animation and now it is looking much better. So this is how you can create some smooth text animation. Now, if you want to animate some more properties, here is one quick tip. So if you go under the text, you can see we have this option called add. So if I click over here, you can see we have the properties option and there are a bunch of different properties that you can edit. So let's animate the scale. So just simply click on scale and here you can see we have this property. So in the beginning, I want my scale to be zero. So I can just simply select it and just press zero. And now if I play back, here you can see that our text is animating its position and as well its scale is changing. So in the same way, you can add multiple properties. So let me just quickly add rotation to this as well, just like this. So now I'm going to increase the rotation quite a bit. And now if I play back, here you can see now we have added rotation to our text as well. So you can see how easy it is to change this by simply adding an animation and you can play around with different properties that you want. In the same way you can add opacity, you can add blur, whatever you want. So there are a bunch of different options that you can play with. 
So this is how you can create some smooth text animations in After Effects. So I hope you learned something from this video. The project files for this one are available on Patreon. So if you support me over there, you can get this from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the project files as well as some exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. Also, if you want to learn motion graphics or animation, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.